What's going on guys, Zenos here and today in this video, let's review the Grand Alliance, its complete version because I already done the first impression on its early access version. Let's see what its complete version has to really offer to us in terms of many features in this game. Alright, let's get it started. Let's see what kind of battle features that we really have. Alright, well, I've already covered on that one. But anyways, let's do it again. Okay, so this is going to be the roster that I'm actually going to use in order to defeat the opponents. You can manage them or unequip them and equip like all hero units if you want if they are your waifu then you can pretty much select them if you want all right and uh, the next thing is going to be the management let's try to see like what kind of enhancements and upgrades that we can actually provide to our hero units uh like right over here i can provide a weapon to my hero unit because i have not really provided to her any equipment so far wow what a crap man right yeah, okay there we go that's how it's done guys that's how it's done all right and you can actually also provide us some exp if you have the exp ticket and you can also provide some tier up uh to give her like better stats and many other things or to unlock the potential as well in order to make her even better and so many other things guys or just the simple enhancement if you have this thing called the party token okay if you have the dupe system it's like a dupe system right out there guys where you are like transcending your hero in it just like that something like that all right so that is it guys and the next thing is that like one of the most fun fact about this game is that like you can equip the skills yes you heard me right these are the skills right and they are like actually the tier of the skill as well just look at that five star tier uh, uh, you know like <laughs> that uh, that that thing right over here so i would definitely want to equip that one right over here okay so let's do it can i do that yes there we go that's how it's done guys always uh, focus your eyes on those kind of skills that are like at higher rank because those higher rank skills are definitely gonna uh, provide you better advantage in the battle mode. All right, I will be going with the auto battle like any other RPG game out there. A little bit of quality of life right over there. <laughs> oh man, there's some story over here as well. So those players who are really out there to enjoy the story of a gacha game, then I would say like this game would definitely be a really good candidate as well. Okay, if there is a red soccer girl popping up around, uh, you better get out of that reason, okay? Or else you might actually incur a heavy damage. And most of the time when you start a battle content, you will be provided with the two health potion at the right hand side of the screen. And you just need to click that one if you just want to recover the health of your allies, okay? And the next thing is that like, if you just want to do like everything by yourself, just click on the skill and then just uh, click it or smash it on a certain geographic location and your characters are gonna do really Really fine and if you just want them to heal back to a really good health level then just click on that potion right over there guys and let's do it guys let's do it okay you can, there is a really like simple type of map out there as well just like uh, guardian tales right if I'm not wrong the name <laughs> I usually forget the name of uh, all the games out there. But anyways, all right, whole position. It looks like bandits and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there we go. There are some really good story content right out there. If we would really want to enjoy those one then i would say like this game is uh really for you guys okay so there we go mm -hmm. okay so yeah there we go guys there's some sort of like a special drive oh shit i did it so wrong yeah there's actually a overdrive gauge okay uh if you actually fill that one up what's going to happen is that like your heroes are going to perform a special type of action yes just like that okay right over here guys oh hey yo <laughs> right over there okay let's do it let's do it well i think it was a little bit too early oh uh, well <laughs> But I think I did it right, okay? So there we go. I got that three-star victory or something like that. And that's how it's done, guys. That's how it's done. There's the override gaze stuff where you have to click the icon of your character and just uh, target it on a certain place. And your character is just going to do a simple AoE damage or any kind of like special burst damage right out there in order to provide you guys some really good uh, advantage against the opponents or try to wipe out the mobs really, really fast because obviously uh, opponents will start to get stronger and stronger when you start to keep on progressing in the game. So there we there we go guys the basic rpg feature right over there and you can also go with like multiple squads right over there i mean like i mean sorry you can set up a uh, multiple squads okay so that is it guys okay let's try to do it right over there equip mm -hmm. okay so there we go all right can i actually drag and drop no i, I think we cannot <laughs> okay let's equip right this one right over here and right over here i would i, I would say like uh, let's equip this waifu right over there all right and like let's say skills and blah 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 and so many other things just like that i think you guys got my gist right so there we go guys i know that you guys are a fast catcher and let's look into the grand arena yes let's see like how the arena feature really works in this game so right over here we're going to fight against uh these uh opponents right if you if you really don't want to fight against them you can just shuffle yes there we go guys shuffle is available only every 12 hours wow that is really hurtful guys 
<laughs> because in most of the games out there, I think the Swaffle is available like uh, every one hour, right? But this one, man, <laughs> that is that that is cruel. Okay, let's try to fight against this uh, opponent right up here. All right, uh, let's try to equip some really good skills. Okay, right over there. There we go. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Okay, right over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's equip that one and equip this one as well. Okay, there we go. Let's try to give her the best. Okay, so that she can actually deal some really good damage against the bonus and blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Earth is better than water. Water is better than fire. Just like any other RPG uh, RPG type of gaming style right out there. You know, red, green, blue. Okay, so there we go. That's how it is. <gasps> okay, all right. Uh, you know, like, as you can see right over here, the PvP battle or the arena battle is pretty much auto style okay you will don't need to do anything right over here auto skill right over there okay right over there see 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 even if i'm tapping the auto skill nothing is popping up guys nothing is popping up okay so that is it guys all right so there we go okay it seems like i am doing actually a little bit better than the opponent come on she needs to die she needs to die she needs to die okay there we go guys there we go <laughs> i wank I wanked the opponent, okay? Uh, I just got like eight victory coins, which I can use in order to get some various rewards. Uh, like right up here, just, just click on the spend victory shop. Uh, you can even get Donovan. Look at that. 100 mercenary badges, okay? Mercenary badges are those kind of stuff that you need in order to hire or to recruit new hero units in this game. Yes, uh, through the tavern, tav tavern mode, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit later. You can also uh, exchange these uh, victory tokens for like 20 stamina and many other things that you are definitely going to need in order to upgrade your uh, hero units and even your account and so many other things. All right, let's go back. Let's get back. And uh, as I told you, guys a little bit earlier in this game yes you can go into the tavern just like in king's raid but it actually works a little bit differently okay uh, here the guys are actually going to show up and they are going to pop up and all you need to do is uh, okay 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 yes yes i get it i get it all you need to do is just select them okay and then you are gonna see that like you will be either be able to get them by spending the gems or by just um, spending those currencies on them okay which i just told you guys a little while ago for instance you know my memory is a little bit weak so <laughs> please don't mind and if there is actually like a coin floating on their head that means like you already have those hero units and if you are going to get them again you are going to get their dupe and definitely their dupe are going to be required in order to enhance them further all right so there we go guys that is a little bit of like transcending like type of feature right over there in this game and you can see there are skills as well and if you like those skills then definitely you can go with them and this girl really looks like one of my wife right over there <laughs> she's cute man she's cute i like her i like her and dive of the damage that she's gonna deal is quite good as well and being able to like Freeze the opponents is very, very good as well, okay? It's always going to be really great against the uh, mobs right out there. And now, this is the time to summon in this game. Yes, you heard me right. Let's go into the shop. Yes, that's how it is. You need to go into the shop. And this is the time where I will be summoning like 10 times, okay? Right up here, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got like 1,500 uh, gems, okay? So let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right, uh-huh, nine items remaining. Okay, boom, there we go. Uh, that's gonna be a skill, just two-star skill. What the hell? Oh, man, yes, in this game, guys, in the gacha system, you are actually gonna get hero as well as the skills. Yeah, <laughs> think about it, man. <laughs> and heroes have, I think, only about 3% chance to get dropped. And most of the other drops are gonna be like regular skills. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. Five star skill right over there, guys. All heroes in your squad take 80% less damage for six seconds. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Guardian barrier. All right. What is this gonna be? That's gonna be a three star skill. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And that's gonna be a two star skill. And let's try to skip it up. And see, I actually was able to get a party that was really good stuff. And I actually managed to get her token. Okay. So I will be doing some kind of an on her later on. Uh, let's try to do the pull again stuff. Okay. Let's do it. Why not? All right. It's a gacha game. <gasps> Look at that! I got a new unit! Man, Aris, Water Gunner, and I think she's in the tavern. Okay, no need to expand the gems on her, because I just got her, man. Aris, wow, there we go. I think she's a three-star as well. Okay, so there we go. Okay, 
I'm going to show you guys the gacha rates, the drop rates. Okay, there we go, guys. Uh, random heroes have the chance to be dropped at 3% chance. Only 3% chance to get the hero units in this game. And you might be asking, like, so what are the other things that we are going to get in this game? That's going to be abilities, okay? So there we go. Tier 5 ability, 3%. Uh, tier 4 ability, 15%. Tier 3 ability, 43%. Every other shit in this game is definitely going to be the abilities. Tier 2 ability, 36%, and blah, 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 okay? So if you actually manage to get a hero unit that is like oh my god i got ssr hero unit something like that okay because like you know like the heroes that you are gonna get right up here randomly is actually already three percent like to get any hero unit is so rare in this game that's all i wanted to say to you guys okay so try to uh max out or let's say try to take the total advantage of the tavern system in this game uh where they are going to be refreshed i think in a weekly basis okay so right over there guys look at that this girl i just managed to get right iris right so if i'm actually gonna get her again i will be getting her token so there we go guys okay let's try to uh go back into the squad mm -hmm. because i just got oh no not in the not in the squad I mean, like, in the hero, hero, right? Hero, right? Ah, oh, shit. I think it's in this squad. Oh, man. That is so sad. Oh, what the hell? That's not Clarissa. Okay. Uh, this one, Pyre. Okay, let's try to manage her and enhance and enhance unit. Yes, there we go, guys. Because I just got her one extra stuff. And you can see that, like, the enhancement just went up plus one. So there we go, guys. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. A little bit of pay to win content right over there. And let's click on the... Uh, you know, like mission right over here okay like collect okay wow wow i i, I can actually click on that one because like that was not lighted up <laughs> okay okay new player login bonus okay so definitely there are some really good rewards that have already been announced okay so that the new players are gonna get some uh, good thing uh, when they are starting a new account in this game a uh, new player daily login login bonus login for seven days and claim daisy for free wow so definitely i would really love to get her uh, i think she's pretty good and uh, welcome new players right over there okay there is actually a uh, like small uh, conversation right over there wow that's not really good okay previous session rewards that that's what i got a little while ago okay 1250 gems that's so good okay that's really really good because uh, just a while ago, I was able to do just one multi summon with 750 gems, right? So just 250 gems short with doing that two multi summons. 25 of each class emblems, uh, 25,000 gold, gravity bomb skill, and finally the hero Clarissa right over here. This girl is very good, and I think every beginners are gonna get her, and she's definitely damn amazing, guys. So just get her, man. Just get her. This is really cool. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's one really good move from the uh, this game, and you will be able to get Amelia as well if you clear the chapter 5 story, Black Gates, okay? So that is a guide. If you want to follow this game on the Discord, you can do that. This Discord is a channel where you will be able to get all tons and tons of like information from other players as soon as possible right away. Just type a question and they are going to reply you ASAP. Whereas well, for the Facebook group, uh, you will be able to keep on uh, updating yourself with the new events that are going to keep on happening in this game, okay? So uh, please try to be join the Facebook group of this uh, game as well. So far, like I am, I would say like this game is pretty average. I would not say like this game is totally a main type of game or you know, like the main dish out there in the mobile RPG gacha gaming uh, platform, okay? I would say like just a side game just to see, come back and check out and blah, blah, blah. And if there is a really good game, I would definitely skip this game. What do you guys think about this game? Please let me know in the comment section below. And this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. See you guys in the next video.